In this video, a Tesla Insider has just leaked some juicy, juicy new details on the 4680 cell. So we'll run through the leaked information in detail. We'll talk about the massive implications and we'll also talk more generally about the massive, massive impact of Tesla's 4680 battery cell on their business, their profits, the financials, and most likely Tesla stock. So let's get into it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoy these videos, there's a bunch of ways you can support the channel, access exclusive content and perks, and get some free stocks and crypto. Check out the links in the pinned comment below. You can get two free stocks with Weeble, a free stock with Stake, free Bitcoin with Coinbase, and free Bitcoin with BlockFi, and the BlockFi Bitcoin Rewards credit card. You can also pick up some Tesla, Elon, and investment themed merch in the merch store if you want to take it to the next level. Join thousands of members on Patreon to gain exclusive access to over 100 Q&A videos, loads of exclusive content, exclusive access to my up-to-date 10-year Tesla stock price targets, and even access my Tesla valuation model at the investor support level and above. So check out the links in the pinned comment below and thanks for your support. Here we are over on the Tesla Motors Club website. So in theory, this could be completely fraudulent. It could be a fake image. Let's proceed on the assumption that it's not. Certainly you could go to the effort, but let's assume that this is legit. Let me read the post here and then we'll take a closer look. So this information represents 4680 battery cell production at Fremont on the 22nd of January this year. So a couple of weeks ago, green represents good batteries and red is for rejects. The poster goes on to say that day they had 14 machines running. That's the 14 across here, including the 82% bad batteries. We can see that in red for machine 212, which the poster believes was being used that day to train people from Texas who were producing the 4680 cells in Texas at the Austin Gigafactory. That's a reasonable explanation for this massive outlier where the vast majority of batteries were rejects versus every other line. I was also informed that there are over 1 million batteries sitting in a warehouse somewhere waiting to become part of the Model Y structural battery pack being produced in Texas. And apparently this information has been leaked from one of the many employees producing the 4680 battery cells in Fremont. Hope you don't get yourself fired. So let's take a closer look and try to understand exactly what's going on here. A little bit blurry, but we can make out most of the details. Up here in general, green representing the cumulative production for that day based on the time this was taken, 5.22 p.m. in the afternoon, I'm guessing it looks like that, could be 3.22. Don't read into this too much in terms of total output, but more the proportion of useful versus non-viable cells. We can see here 92% of the cells produced, 6,249 viable in green, and a little over 500 cells scrapped. 140 of those cells coming from the machine apparently being used to train people. So we don't need to worry too much about that. When we're talking about yields here, my personal expectation is that Tesla will be aiming for 95 plus percent yields, but even around the 90% range, keeping in mind that you can recycle the scrap. So you're not actually losing a whole amount of material through that waste, given the enormous economic time, just all the advantages of the 4680 cells for Tesla. It's likely that Tesla will initially be willing to accept a slightly higher scrap rate than they will over the long term. Tesla already with four lines, at least in this snapshot, a day running at over 95% yield, close to two thirds of the lines already with yields of over 90%. If the snapshot we have today from this leaked information inside Tesla is representative of how the 4680 cells are going at Fremont, this is fantastic news. We're either on the cusp of entering volume production, local production at Berlin and Austin, or already there. Tesla's mind-blowing Battery Invest Today event took place just over a year ago, and we're already looking at yields over 90% on these pilot lines. This is hugely bullish. This is an incredible insight into the brilliance of Tesla's engineering and their ability to execute, okay? These are battery cells. Tesla, an automotive manufacturer, a car company, maybe a software and technology company just goes, you know what, the battery cells we're getting from Panasonic, LG Chem, etc., not good enough. Let's just invent our own battery cells. It's better than anything they've ever invented and produced themselves at scale. And then they go and do it. Not only did they invent the technology, as we hear, prototypes are easy, production is hard. We're now seeing the production side of the equation that's 100, a 1, thousand times harder than just creating the new product. The manufacturing systems are what matter. We've already got yields over 90%, approaching 95. This is insane. And just for the nerds out there who are curious, there is actually a breakdown, a Pareto distribution as well in terms of the errors that are recurring in these battery cells. If you want to pause the video, try to make out some of the words, go for your life. But I didn't think it was worth getting too much into this. The main thing here to focus on is the yields. This is incredible. Tesla just creates a new battery cell, oh yeah, better than anything anyone's ever made before, and now gets it to a point where they can produce these at volumes with great yields. But of course, they'll never be able to make a humanoid robot that's useful, will they? So it seems Tesla on the cusp of scaling up 4680 cell production, and when they do, everything changes. Let's look through some of the highlights of Tesla's September 2020 
battery invest today presentation to remind ourselves why these matter so much especially from a tesla stock investors point of view we have a plan to halve the cost per kilowatt hour just take a moment here for those of you who aren't aware or want a refresher the battery is by far the most expensive thing that goes in an electric vehicle these things cost thousands of dollars close to ten thousand dollars for a battery as i record this obviously it depends on range but the point is this thing makes up a huge portion double digit percentage amount of the overall cost to produce these vehicles if you can halve the cost of the batteries we're talking about saving many thousands of dollars per vehicle produced which means they can be sold for many thousands of dollars cheaper and or produced far more profitably. This really, really matters. One of the key features of the 4680 cell versus previous generation of battery cells Tesla are using in vehicles are five times increase in energy, 16% range increase, and six times the power. And to put into context just how important the range increase is, if you have a vehicle today that say has about 260 miles of range and you increase that by 16%, you're now looking at around 300 miles of range. We also see a 14% cost per kilowatt hour reduction. This matters a lot more than you might imagine. Let's just say the battery pack costs about $7,000. Let's say it's costing you about almost $30,000 to produce the vehicle. You've got healthy margins, $7,000 for the battery. If you can reduce that cost by 14%, you're saving about $1,000. This really matters. Exactly how much does this matter? Well, let's just assume that throughout 2021, when Tesla delivered a little over 900,000 vehicles, that each of those vehicles had an additional $1,000 profit because they were using the 4680 cells being sold at the exact same price. So there was a $1,000 profit to the bottom line on every vehicle sold. That's almost $1 billion in additional profit for the full year. This is a super insightful graphic as well. On the left here, the 2018 Tesla Gigafactory output 150 gigawatt hours per year. And on the right, the new 4680 cell and production system, 75% reduction in investment as in money, dollars invested per gigawatt hour of output and a 10 times smaller footprint. This is nutty. So what's the bottom line? The 4680 cell will have a profound impact on Tesla's business. Let's think about some of the key reasons from a Tesla investor's point of view. The cheaper Tesla batteries are, the cheaper they can sell their vehicles if they choose to, if they need to, which spoiler alert, they don't. The demand's insane, wait time, six plus months for every vehicle. But if it costs Tesla less to make a vehicle, they have the option of selling them for less and making the exact same profit. Or alternatively, they could also just keep selling the vehicles at the same price, even though the cost to produce the batteries is falling over time, meaning increasing profit margins. They're making more money on every vehicle sold, or they could do a combination thereof, have higher margins and reduce prices. I mean, talk about winning, of course, at this point in time and for months, maybe years to come, Tesla will not need to reduce prices on their vehicles. The demand is off the fucking charts. This is a good situation to be in. The 4680 cells will also literally make Tesla's vehicles better. What do I mean? More energy density, more power, means more acceleration, further range, a lighter vehicle, increased safety with the structural battery pack. Tesla already has an unassailable lead in terms of technology, features, performance, and functionality, and the 4680 cells take that to a whole other level. Tesla's already ridiculously far ahead of the so-called competition, especially when it comes to their batteries and the amount of range they get out of their vehicles versus the amount of kilowatt hours in the battery pack. This lead is going to extend even further. Another major benefit is Tesla's currently supply constraint. They can't get enough battery cells. That's one of the core reasons they're making these 4680s. Not the only one, but one of the reasons. They need more batteries. Well, let's just make our own as well. Given the extreme efficiency, the improvements in manufacturing, the yield, the smaller footprint, everything, this is gonna have a profound impact on the number of vehicles and other products including home energy storage and grid scale energy storage solutions that Tesla can produce. Tesla really is taking their destiny into their own hands. That being said, as we know, they're still gonna be accepting cells from other manufacturers for years to come. As many as they can get, they will buy, they will use, and they will sell in products because Tesla does not have a demand problem. There's just so much to love about Tesla's 4680 cell, and I don't think most investors are really pricing the implications into Tesla stock. And by the way, if anyone's watching who happens to be working on the 4680 cells, feel free to slide into my DMs with any more information, corrections, etc. at Stephen Mark Ryan on Twitter. Big question I have is what yield is Tesla targeting for the 4680 cell production lines? Is it 90%, 92, 69? 95%? Let me know what your guess is in the comments below. If I had to guess, I'd probably say the target is over 95%. The key here is what will Tesla accept before they begin scaling up these production facilities? Is 90% okay? Is 92%? Keeping in mind the massive cost, time, and factory footprint savings. 
For reference, as far as I'm aware, in the battery cell production industry, somewhere around 95% or above is generally seen as a good yield. There's always gonna be some percent of scrap produced when making battery cells, but keep in mind that can be recycled. You recover practically everything that was in those cells. Don't forget, if you'd like to support the channel and gain access to a ton of exclusive content and my Tesla price targets, sign up to Patreon with the card in the corner or the link in the pinned comment. Oh, and by the way, one final question. Leave your guess below for when you think the 4680 cells will begin ramping up in Berlin and Austin if they haven't already. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan. This is Solving the Money Problem and I love you all. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoy these videos, there's a bunch of ways you can support the channel, access exclusive content and perks, and get some free stocks and crypto. Check out the links in the pinned comment below. You can get two free stocks with Weeble, a free stock with Stake, free Bitcoin with Coinbase, and free Bitcoin with BlockFi, and the BlockFi Bitcoin Rewards credit card. You can also pick up some Tesla, Elon, and investment themed merch in the merch store. If you wanna take it to the next level, join thousands of members on Patreon to gain exclusive access to over 100 Q&A videos, loads of exclusive content, exclusive access to my up-to-date 10-year Tesla stock price targets, and even access my Tesla valuation model at the investor support level and above. So check out the links in the pinned comment below, and thanks for your support. And if you're still watching, you're awesome. I read every single comment on this channel, and I really appreciate your feedback. So if you've got any thoughts on today's video, questions, comments, or suggestions for a new video, let me know in the comments below. Check the cards on screen now to browse the merch store, join Patreon, or watch the next video.